Namaste dear friend. Today in Math Art Studio I am going to um, do something different. Uh, I hope that will interest the students in this Corona crisis. Uh, they are locked in their home and there is nothing to do. I am repeatedly doing the same thing using the formula and solving mathematics problem uh, may be irritating to them. So just to help them enjoy mathematics and know the beauty of mathematics, I am going to do something different today and it is about straight line patterns and keep watching this i hope you will enjoy this hey dear friends let me share with you something what we are doing in mathematics classes uh, assume that we are doing geometry and in geometry in the beginning what we do is that we define the point as an object having no definition something like that a point is undefined it is undefined term and then uh, it is used to locate the position of object and a dot like this represents the point. That is what we are doing. And at the same time we go for line segment. We go for line segment and we define line segment as the straight path between two points. The fixed length between two points. This is called the line segment. And we go for line. And line is defined as uh, an infinite length in a fixed direction and to this line segment if we put arrowhead toward its end and that indicates that it can be extended both sides and after this the students are given something to do and they have been given a lot of points for example let's say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, S, something like that, you know, so many things. I'm writing all the sample over here and they are asked to draw different line segments over here. They join this, make one line segment, and they join this, make another line segment, and they join this, make another line segment, and they join this, let me say, and they make another line segment and maybe they will go this way also they may join this and this also there is no instruction very clearly mentioned it's like that so you know that they have something uh, to do like this and the objective of the lesson is uh, just to help them draw a straight line segment very accurately it's like that you know so what does it mean to them what does it mean to them? Does it have any meaning? And it has no meaning. So how can we make uh, this drawing line segment meaningful? For example, uh, after this, some book uh, have given different points and they have asked in the instruction that draw 40 line segments. And when we say 40, and students get puzzled with that one. 40 is a big number and they think that is a very big homework for them and it's the extra burden given to them and they will not be uh, happy doing this type of thing. So, just to help them, uh, not only 40 line segment, maybe more than that, uh, drawing very happily in a very peaceful and joyful manner. So for that one, I have developed something like this. So here are two line segments intersecting each other at the point O at right angles and there are uh, certain divisions here, equal division, 10 divisions along this and 10 division above like that and 10 division to the left, 10 division to the to downwards, you know, it's like that. And in this one, they are numbered uh, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here, Starting from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know. And they are instructed to join. They will join 1 to 1 and 2 to 2, 3 to 3 like this. They will go on joining using the straight edge or the ruler. And they will join 1 and 1 together. I don't know. And they will do joining 2 and 2, the point 2 and 2, and 3 and 3, 4 and 4, uh, 5 and 5, 
6 and 6 that way and 7 and 7 8 and 8 like that 9 and 9 this way and you know so this type of different shape is made here and perhaps that will interest them they may think can we do the similar thing this side and if they do this side they will get something like a butterfly if they do this side they will get something like an umbrella and if they do round about it they will complete the whole sheet of paper and they will get something different that's why you know I hope that they will be interested looking at these changing models they will see something interesting for them and here the completed figure is like this here are also 40 line segments no more 40 line segments and drawn in a sheet of paper in a very specified space and they have a new creation and once they complete this thing they will mm, smile looking at this one and they may go for coloring also if they color coloring is not fixed they will color of their own choice I have colored it this way just to give the image of coloring and you know this type of symmetric image they will get and after this my concern today is that I have tried to kill two birds with one bullet something like that my objective first objective was to help a student draw line segment with a passion without losing their interest they will be whatever they go on doing they will be interested and they will keep doing something and they will continue the work uh, you know uh, they, they will be happy doing the thing uh, all day something like that you know they will do this and in this one the second bullet is that what mathematics can be taught using this model can we teach something else using this in mathematics so that's what I'm going today I'm going to do today and in this one this is the image drawn in the first quadrant for example this one is the one which I have done in the introduction part and it is colored over here and in this one if you reflect this one so you will get a shape like this what did the student did here he did nothing but you know has drawn this in this first quadrant let me say and has drawn it to the second also like that but mathematically speaking if he is capable of drawing this one here and reflecting it in this line then the reflection helps him to get the same thing that is why uh, the transformation reflection is associated with this type of drawing and just to complete it once he has done this thing he will do what this is the one which he has already done now I want to reflect the whole thing in this one if we reflect whole thing over there we'll get this thing you know the same thing would be there that way uh, a material made for one particular situation may work for other situations that is the matter of research and we have to help our student to be the researcher not something like a parrot okay so you know the creative student can think other different kind of reflections with the same figure for example with this figure what was done in the initial stage a student can reflect in this line let me draw the reflecting line over here uh -huh. so this is the reflecting line and in this line if a student reflect that figure and let's see what happens to that one you know so if it is reflected that way they will get the shape like this and this can be defined as the leaf you student can define that way also it's a leaf of a plant and this is done in a square within a square uh, to the opposite vertices it is done and at the same time if they draw something here you know they can imagine this as an eye also and they can draw the eye over here 
something like that or they can use this as the photo frame you know they can draw some photo over here and decorate in the classroom uh, thank you dear friend watching me in math art studio uh, today i discussed uh, about line segment and transformation reflection and using the same figure and similar approach uh, in the coming videos i'll be coming with the concept of rotation reflection translation and enlargement as well all different kind of transformation can be covered using the same figure and with, within the i mean using these uh, straight line patterns uh, we can learn mathematics from very elementary stage to the higher level of studies in college and university level as well thank you